Hello, welcome back. This is going to be a pretty different sort of plan with me on my channel. Um, as you can see, this is March 26th and currently I'm filming this on April 7th. Basically, on March 26th, I had a really fun outing with my sister and I didn't really have any time to journal everything that happened on this day and I just kept putting it off and yeah, so this this has been empty for basically the past two weeks it was such a memorable day because i don't often get days off and i just don't feel like this would have done the day any justice so what i did instead was on a sticky note i wrote down um all of the things that we did and the places that we went to and just stuck it here and then my idea was that whenever i had time i would just come back and fill this in with all of the memories so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing today and not gonna lie i'm a little bit intimidated because i don't normally do like scrapbooky uh spreads in my planner um but i've been really inspired by this creator her name is gabby um her account is the gabby pages and she does these like really cool memory keeping spreads and I I want to try to do something similar. So let's do that today and if I mess up then whatever. So I pulled out a bunch of things. Um, I have these, okay so a little context. My sister and I went to this thing called the Marvel Station which is like a display of a bunch of props used in the Marvel movies. So um, I, I printed out some pictures that we took. We have Thanos, we have the Iron Man suit displays, and then this is me on Bucky's motorcycle, and then this is the brunch that we had. So I just printed these out on sticker paper. Um, and then I also brought out the Marvel sampler from my shop in the original colors. I thought about using pastels because I typically go for pastels, but I was like, you know what, these like photos already have pretty bright colors, so I think it matches pretty well. Um, and then I also just brought out a bunch of deco stickers. These are from Pixels by Vix. These are from Two Little Bees. They don't really have anything to do with Marvel or anything, but I thought the colors matched really well. So the Marvel station was at this place called Brentwood Mall, and I'm just going to draw a little geotag and write in Brentwood Mall. It was my first time uh, being in this area. My sister lives in this area, so she was familiar with it. And then I want to letter in Marvel Station, which I will do right underneath. Thinking of doing like a slanted font. I'm gonna try to make it not too perfect because it's gonna take forever. So I'm just gonna intentionally kind of be very rough with all of my lettering. I used to try to make my lettering look like it was typed up, so like super perfect. But then I realized that like, if most of the lettering is perfect and then I make one little inevitable error, then the entire thing just looks really off. So nowadays I just try to be really wonky with it and then that way, even if I make any mistakes, it kind of just looks like it was, you know, purposeful. So we have Marvel Station and then I am going to start using the pictures that I printed. So this is on, again, sticker paper, just like matte sticker paper, but you can definitely print it on regular paper and just use a tape runner or glue stick. I definitely want to use these two photos and then this one, I will add it if I have space. So I'm going to cut out this motorcycle. Just as even as I can. But again, not trying to aim for perfection or else any mistakes become way too evident. Okay, now I'm just realizing this is a very big photo of me. So I think maybe I will cut off part of it so that I'm only part way in the frame. Okay, let's cut it off here. Okay, I think that looks a lot better than having my entire body <laughs> on the on the page i think this looks a lot more balanced okay so again you can apply glue or tape runner 
I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white space um, so it's not like directly against the edge of the page just because like when it's closed I don't want anything like um, hanging off. I also want to use this image of Thanos. I think I will put Thanos over here. And then I'm going to write a quick journal entry here. Um, and because typically on the right side of the page, I don't need to put down a pencil board. But again, because like this was from several weeks ago and I had already written on the other side, I do need to put a pencil board so the ink doesn't transfer. So as for the actual Marvel station event, it was really funny because um, my sister and I didn't realize that it was likely targeted towards toddlers and we were literally the only two adults there without children and you know there's nothing wrong with enjoying things that are that are meant for kids but um like all of the activities were very clearly for very young children so yeah um we i, I definitely enjoyed the experience not so much um the way I expected, but more so it was just hilarious for my sister and I. I also want to put down a few of these Marvel emojis. I think I'll put one here. I don't often get to use these, so since, uh, since I have the opportunity, why not? Um, and then after that, we went to OEB breakfast for brunch. So I'm gonna write this in as well with a geotag. And then this was a brunch that we had. And I think for some quote unquote contrast, I am gonna cut this out as a rectangle instead of like cutting around the breakfast. Although now I'm realizing that it might be a bit too big. Hmm, I think I need to cut out the drinks. Okay, I think this is a lot better. So I'm still keeping uh, the sharp corner, but also having a little bit of cutouts just so that I can have some space to write as well. So I had a plate with eggs, sourdough, and fruit, and then my sister had an artisan bagel. Just because I can, I'm going to draw a little face on the bagel. I think I'll draw a little face on the egg. I love that so much. Okay, and then because we also had drinks, um, I will I will use one of these stickers. This is from a Two Little Bees kit. Actually, it might be easier. It might be easier to write it first. So another place that we went to was called Small Victory Cafe. So I'm going to draw in another geotag. Was it cafe or coffee? Okay, it's called Small Victory Bread and Coffee. And unfortunately, I didn't take any photos there, so I'm going to put down this Cafe Time Emoji's Washi. And then I'm going to fill in this space with a journal entry. Oof, running out of space. I'm going to move this washi down a little bit. So I don't think I mentioned this elsewhere, but um, uh, just because I wanted to be respectful, but um, I can now say that my sister is actually pregnant, so I'm going to be a first-time aunt soon. So um, I ordered my sister a pregnancy pillow just because um, she was getting a bit uncomfortable. Okay, so that was nice. I'm 
Boo. A little smudging. I do have this one last image here. And I think it's a little too big to fit in this empty space up top, but I might be able to make it work because I, th I still think this is really cool and I want to incorporate it somehow. So just cut this at a little angle. Maybe I will cut off this one. As you can see, this is very different from my usual planning style, which is like super, you know, pastel. <laughs> um, and I rarely ever include real life photos in my spreads. So I think this is like a nice change in my planner. Okay, I think I'm done with this spread. Um, I'm actually very, very satisfied with how this turned out. Again, it's very different from my usual style, but I think it really captures the day well. And as soon as I flip to this spread in the future, I'm gonna know what happened on this very memorable day. I hope if you are someone who don't usually go out of your comfort zone like I do with my planner, um, hopefully this video gives you some push to try something new as well. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next week. Bye!